Acute Phase Protein, Wikipedia Article Audio Acute phase proteins are a class of proteins whose plasma concentrations increase or decrease in response to inflammation. This response is called the acute phase reaction. The terms acute phase protein and acute phase reactant are often used synonymously, although some APRs are polypeptides rather than proteins. In response to injury, local inflammatory cells secrete a number of cytokines into the bloodstream, most notable of which are the interleukins IL-1, IL-6 and IL-8, and TNF-alpha. The liver responds by producing a large number of acute phase reactants. At the same time, the production of a number of other proteins is reduced. These proteins are, therefore, referred to as negative acute phase reactants. Increased acute phase proteins from the liver may also contribute to the promotion of sepsis. Positive Negative Positive acute phase proteins serve different physiological functions for the immune system. Some act to destroy or inhibit growth of microbes, e.g., C-reactive protein, mannose binding protein, complement factors, ferritin, ceruloplasmin, serum amyloid A and haptoglobin. Others give negative feedback on the inflammatory response, e.g. serpins. Alpha-2 macroglobulin and coagulation factors affect coagulation, mainly stimulating it. This procoagulant effect may limit infection by trapping pathogens in local blood clots. Also, some products of the coagulation system can contribute to the innate immune system by their ability to increase vascular permeability and act as chemotactic agents for phagocytic cells. Negative acute phase proteins decrease in inflammation. Examples include albumin, transferrin, transthyretin, retinol binding protein, antithrombin, transcordin. The decrease of such proteins may be used as markers of inflammation. The physiological role of decreased synthesis of such proteins is generally to save amino acids for producing positive acute phase proteins more efficiently. Theoretically, a decrease in transferrin could additionally be decreased by an upregulation of transferrin receptors, but the latter does not appear to change with inflammation. Measurement of acute phase proteins, especially C-reactive protein, is a useful marker of inflammation in both medical and veterinary clinical pathology. It correlates with the erythrocyte sedimentation rate, however not always directly. This is due to the ESR being largely dependent on elevation of fibrinogen, an acute phase reactant with a half-life of approximately one week. This protein will therefore remain higher for longer despite removal of the inflammatory stimuli. In contrast, C-reactive protein rises rapidly and can quickly return to within the normal range if treatment is employed. For example, in active systemic lupus erythematosus, one may find a raised ESR but normal C-reactive protein. They may also indicate liver failure. Clinical Significance 